is up the world. It is your friendly neighborhood. So we're going to hear doing stuff things on the photo bus server. We got a lot of things we got to do today. And uh, first of all, here's a gift from Hypno. Sometimes it's good to just open your presents by right clicking. And sometimes it's good to open your presents by left clicking. Yay, we got a present. What do we get? Bedrock sword. Sweet. Sharpness five, looting five, plus 12 damage. Plus 12 damage. <laughs> so it's the same amount of damage as Simon. It's a sword from Hypno, but it's got looting five on it, which is amazeballs. Bam. And Simon, I just don't know if we've got we got room in our lives for Simon anymore. I think it's time to move on. I think we need to use this new bedrock sword. Let's see what it looks like on us. Oh, man. Wow, wow, but the block animation is broken, but it looks really good. So thank you very much to Hypno. I want to get some more of these bedrock tools, and we're definitely going to play around with that in the future. But something else has come up. So let me turn my sound up a little, little bit. There, 33 is perfect. So something has come up. Look, our... Mac is completely full. I can't even believe it. It's completely full and there's no more room for things or stuff or stuff and things. We can't even do it. So um, absolutely have got to have more space in the Mac. And that means that the laser chamber that we have here has got to go. And that's fine. We know one of the reasons that I wanted to start the spawner that we're doing over there on the spawn island is because I want to pull enchantments off. And the main reason for pulling off enchantments is I want to use laser pluses. So, I mean, it really does mean there's going to be complete redesign to this room. Oh, yeah, that's all the stuff and things. Give it to me, man. So it means there's going to be a complete design to this room. Anywho, so let's go ahead and just pull this all down. We don't need any of this crap -o. We can stick it all inside of here. Um, and then where we got one of these, one of these. And we'll just pull this whole thing down. And then what I'm going to end up doing is just extending the Mac all the way to the floor. Um, I've been playing, I don't know how many episodes we got, a episodes of this series. Um, if I filled up nine pages, I feel like we might as well just make it, make it even bigger. Let's just keep going. So... Um, that means that I'm going to go ahead and take a couple minutes uh, up, I said. Take a couple minutes. I'm going to build some stuff and things in uh, the system here. And then I'm going to BRBs when we get the Mac all the way extended and big all. All right. So let's go ahead and just bang this bad boy out. I got a bunch of stuff and things crafted up. And so here we're going to go. Just pop out these bad boys here. And then also I think I was finding that the wrench actually will pop these off. A little bit faster so that's really rad all right so we got i got 17 more pattern encoders let me just make sure man i tell you what i hope i have enough stuff and things on me because i didn't do the maths and if i don't um we're not going to be able to build a max so that ain't gonna be good um I, I built a bunch though i built a bunch extra the heating the like the containment walls and the st the side stuff and things that ain't bad i mean it's pretty easy to build that stuff um we're no longer going to be able to go down so we'll have to figure out another way to go down, but I don't think that's really a huge issue right now. So let's go ahead and get our vents going on over here. Bam, 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 skittle, skittle, bam. Bam, 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 skittle, bam, 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 bam. Get up there, man. So the real question is how many of the pattern providers do we want and uh, how many of the additional crafting CPUs do we want? Um, and we're going to see here as I add more patterns just how many it is that we have, how much room we have in here. So let me see here. We got 9, 18, 27, 36, 45 spaces. So I think that, uh, yeah, actually I made enough to add everything. So if we just add all of these and then add the rest as CPUs, are these CPUs? Yeah, crafting CPUs, like so. This is a lot of crafting CPUs. I probably could use more pages, but I don't know. This will probably be enough. Let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, it's beautiful. It's perfect. So uh, 19 of these guys going to be enough? Oh, yeah, plenty. Wow, Super Mac. That is an amazing thing. We have the biggest Mac of all time now. Let's head up and take a look at what we actually got going on here. So, oh wait, what am I doing? Let's head down and see what we actually got going on here. 26 pages, more than enough. Let's go ahead and next, 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 next to nine. So there should have been, hmm. I think that what happened, there we go. Yeah, oh, that's weird. So some of the pages like moved. It must organize them vertically. 
so it doesn't really matter to me and i don't really organize my mac i don't find a find a reason really to have that be a benefit to do that so we got it we got plenty of stuff and things there we're good to go so let's go ahead and squirt the rest of all the stuff back into our inventory because we can't stand it Bam. And then the other thing that I wanted to do today was take a look at this mysterious magnet. And this is something that Hypno made, and he said it's better than the coin of suck. So I was like, magnet of suck? Let's make one. Um, so let's go ahead and get that guy encoded. We want to get a compass encoded. And we want to get this thing, the dimensional singularity, which needs quartz blocks. So let's just see here real quick which quartz blocks. We're going to want the regular Minecraft quartz. Uh, where did that guy go? Here we are. One of these. One of them. One of them. Encode that bad boy in here. So now let's try this out. It looks like there's different levels, but let's just make the level one guy. Bam! Oh, that was so much faster than it used to be. So if we right click, shift click. Oh, it's active. All right. So shift click on, shift click off. Do we have to keep it in our hot bar? Let's find out. So let's just take the Cesarac and throw it around. Look! Ah! It squirted right back in. Uh, squirt array right back in. I can't even. I'm just blown away by this. So let's go ahead and let's head over here to the new area, to the new spawner game. Oh, we're also playing Don't Find the Walrus in this episode as well. So make sure if you don't know where the walrus is and you don't see one, go ahead and leave a comment of where the walrus is and in the down there. So let's go ahead and take up some of these quartz blocks. So now, if you're unfamiliar with the coin of suck, oh, why, why are you not on? That is bad. Become on. So um, if you're unfamiliar with the coin of suck, uh, one of the things, that, the way that it really works is one of the things that it's really good at is it's really good at, oh, I have the coin of suck on. Oh, I got both of them. I'm like double power. Oh my God, that must be what it is. Double power. Let's turn the coin off. Okay, now we're just using the magnet. How are you still spawning, and why are the grinders not working? Okay, so it's not how are you still spawning, it's why are the grinders not working. They got power. They're just not grinding. Perfect. Um, shiny thing. So back to the way this works. The coin of suck is really good. Let's put them both in the inventory here so you can see. The coin of suck is really good at picking up things that are, like, below you. So if you're... We're taking these up, you'll see. Let me turn that on. Might be helpful. So see how it's below me? No problems, right? So then if we go underneath, see, then we're getting the tingle, the tinkle, tingle. Let me see if I can. Of course it's not gonna show you now. There we go. So we're getting this thing happening, see that? And that most often happens when you're trying to harvest something that is above you with the coin of suck. So um, let's go ahead and turn the coin off. Let's turn this guy on. And then let's stick these back in here. I'm down a block. Where's my block? It sucked it in. The magnet of suck. Whoa, 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 whoa there, jetpack. Holy moly, we're shifting, we're shifting. There we go. So um, let's try it with the magnet of suck. Let's try it from a little further away. All right, so there's definitely like a range. Yeah, so you want to be fairly close. Now for underneath... All right, so that's working. So the range I was telling you, but I think the coin will work at this further range. Yeah, see, it actually brings it over. But again, you get this sort of an issue. So it looks like it's pretty much better. Um, I don't know, but I'll tell you what we're going to do. Just for giggles for this episode, we'll go ahead and get the magnet turned on. And we'll use it instead just to kind of give it a test and see how it works, how it's going on. I'm really confused as to why my grinders aren't working um, for the new system. For the new mob system, we're gonna have to go down and take a look at that. Get that repaired up. Um, let's turn that off. Maybe it's because the force field is in there, and that's why. Be a grinder. Be a grinder. So it's on a permanent sleep. It's on like straight up all the way sleep. Why? Hmm. Hmm. No idea. Um, all right. So one of the things, the other stuff and things that I wanted to get done today, 
Um, I've been really shiny thing this episode so far. But one of the things that I want to get done today is I was kind of trying to get stuff and things built, and I started playing around with sorting stuff down inside of here. Now, we're going to get into this a little bit later. Um, and I did figure out a way to kind of sort stuff out. Now, a lot of you guys left some comments section, uh, in the comment section of the down there in the last episode talking about different ways that we could sort stuff and things out of the auto disenchanter because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get some things out of here, uh, put in items, and uh, bring out uh, books, enchanted books, and the junk uh, swords and armors and stuff like that. And then how are we going to sort that? So there's a couple of different ideas that people gave. One of them was to use um, item... Um, item ducks and pneumatic servos. Pneumatic servos, unfortunately, can't tell the difference, or they can't sort um, all books based on a single book that you put in. So if you put in one kind of a book, like say it's a sharpness one book, it'll only sort out like sharpness one books. Um, and six or a half dozen, needless to say, at the end of the day, the item duck did not work. But this system is working, and like I said, we're gonna explain more of this here in a little bit. But um, one of the things that I want to get done, I have no idea why that's not working. That's really, really weird. I might have to just misplace, me, replace the grinders. So we're just going to turn it off and let those zombies despawn. But one of the other things that I want to get done today is I want to get this place uh, fixed up. I want it to look nicer. Um, at least the walls and the floor. I just, I don't know what it is, but I feel like every time I'm working in here, I'm just like, I hate how it looks. So, um... What we're going to do is we're going to use another item. That's another reason we needed to get the Mac going. Um, and we're going to use another item from Random Things today called the Block block Replacer. So this is Obsidian Sticks. Do we have those? We do. So maybe we can just craft one as opposed to making a million of them. Lapis, Flint, Gold Nugget. All right, let's grab it. One of them. Look at that. Flint. Lapis. Um, actually, you know what? I might be being an idiot. I probably am. All right, yep, I was. So um, let's go ahead and just do this. Bam, like so. Now, this is the block replacer. Let's grab some birch wood. Let's craft up a 1,000 of those. All right, so this is the birch wood. Now, I think this is a click, shift, click deal. I've never used this block before. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it. Let's go ahead and try. Let's go ahead and head down here and just play around with it a little bit and see if we can figure out how it works. So, if we place this guy here, block replacer, nothing. Be a thing, block replacer. Oh, oh, okay. So, if we right click with a block replacer, Oh, we can just, I see, I see, it's got an internal inventory. All right, makes sense. And then we can just one of these. So that's really pretty good. Um, it would be way nicer if there was an AOE um, where, you know what I mean? It would do more than block one, one block at once. But this is pretty easy because what it's doing is it's taking up the block um, that's there. And then let's take a look here. So you're losing it. We're losing all these ore blocks or whatever. Not, not the ore blocks, but, you know, right here we're losing this dirt. We're losing that stone or whatever. Um, but it is a little bit quicker than actually just placing stuff and things on the ground. Um, so I think I'm going to use this. Man, I wish I had an AOE mode. That would be sweet. I don't think there is one. It wasn't that good. So, um, and yes, by the way, before there's a humongous amount of comments in the section of the down there, I know there are other ways to do this. Um, you know, I'm sure there's a bunch of different ways that we could um, replace all the blocks in here. I just wanted to play around the block replacer because I had never played with it before. Um, ooh, entity mover. I didn't even know that was a thing. Portable ender portal. I didn't even know that was a thing either. We got to make some of the stuff. Ender Porter. But, uh, um, yeah, so I'm going to use this, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and maybe make a couple other tools. Um, the Rod of... Um, what is it? The Wand of... Crap, I can't remember the name of that device. Wand. What's the one from Thomcraft? Thom. Thom. Uh, rod of equal trade, rod of equal trade. That's the one that would be really ideal, but I don't want to have to do all the Thomcraft research. So, we're just gonna use a block replacer, like I said. We're gonna make some stuff and things happen pretty up the room, and then when it's done, I will be our bees. You know, we never like build anything together. 
I don't feel like we build anything together anymore, guys. So, <laughs> I feel I thought maybe I would just bring you guys back and we would just do a little building. Feed the Beast is always about like, well, bam, here it is. And so, but I thought maybe we would just hang out and build something. So, I'm finishing this, this stuff and things up right over here. Actually, this is uh, finishing up 25% of the stuff and things right here. Let's just go all the way over like one of these. And then we'll go all the way back over like one of these. So, what I decided to do is kind of take... You know, I like to kind of theme out my builds. Whenever I do a build, I, ooh, I like to do like a theme. And I like to use kind of the same kind of blocks and the same kind of like the theme kind of builds as as I'm building it. <laughs> Makes sense. So as I'm building it, the theme kind of builds. And so this is a lot like these walls. You can see actually I got all of this done. I'm getting mad frame rate lag, man. Like humongous. It might be time to get rid of some of these walruses. I think I'm dropping below 30 frames. Um, oh man, I got a thousand frames now. No, it didn't really do anything, but it did. Feel, it actually does feel like it helped a little bit. Um, so I got a couple elevators over in this area. I'm gonna turn this guy off and this guy off and this guy off. But um, I got a couple of elevators. I got one right over here. And I just did the floor down in here really simple. All birch, which I was thinking about making it more ornate or something. Or just make more work. But, you know, I'll just leave it all birch. So there's going to be machinery and stuff and things all around down inside of there. So um, it'll be it'll be cool. It'll, like, the machinery and the stuff and things will all make, like, squirrely bits and things will happen. Um, because of the squirrely bits. So um, I also figured out what was going on with this system. Uh, the reason why the grinders weren't working. And that was because... They were full. Um, the grinders were completely full. I broke one of the ME interfaces. I bet you if I break this one, you'll see. I don't even want all the stuff. Anyway, squirt stuff will squirt out of there everywhere. We don't want that. And the system's completely full of stuff. And that is because this force field, um, evidently this thing runs and is spawning mobs when I'm not here. So I don't know. I, I, I don't think it can spawn mobs when I'm not here. But when I logged on, I mean, look at this. They are full. Everything's full. 63 types, 63 types. Um, so, and the automation, once that's online, it'll take care of all that. It won't be a big deal. Like, this will be empty once I have the automation online. But um, this is, thing is still spawning spiders when this is on. And the reason I ended up putting the force field one block up is because I don't want to... I'm not sure if I place it directly onto the cursed earth if it will... Um, if it will... Uh, kill the cursed earth the way that if you place blocks directly on top of grass it kills grass so i'm not really sure if that's the case but anyway we're gonna play around with that but this is kind of what we got going on over here i just end up doing kind of uh something similar to that i did over in the tree farm um but we still got three more walls over in this area to get fixed up and yeah these block uh block placers are working awesome absolutely awesome so we just take and kind of put my different kinds of whatever material it is i'm using at the time in here and you know you just kind of you just kind of paint with it that's really what it is it's kind of like painting and uh it's pretty awesome i gotta be honest with you it's pretty amazeballs way to do this stuff um it's pretty fast i don't know if i would say like it's amazingly fast if i had an area of effect it would be good but when you're doing finer work like this where like you know what i mean single blocks at a time like i'm doing um oh that was a mistake kind of um when you're doing the single blocks at a time like i'm doing it's nice to kind of have the single the single wide paintbrush type thingy going on so um all right i still got three more walls to finish up in here um and i gotta do the ceiling too once i do that i'm gonna do a little bit of work organizing the the system down here just tiniest tiniest bit of organizing this and um i'm probably gonna end up moving the enemy system too uh, but we, i'm gonna get the organization done and uh i want to have that ready to kind of explain and it's a little bit complicated today may be a little bit of a complicated uh, not a complicated episode but a complicated explanation of how that system is going to work because i want it to be completely automated um, I want there to be a complete automation of, or fairly complete, oh, crap -o. good thing I brought extra block replacers with me, um, a complete, uh, fairly close to completely automated process for creating books, which means I might have to build a little bit of a sugarcane farm down here. Um, I need to have an automation, the automation for, uh, sugarcane to make the, the, um, paper i need automation i don't think i'll need the automation i'll need a way to move leather over into the system so that'll be a thing that we got to set up as well this is actually going to be because i want to keep the system separate 
um, from what's going on over at the 1A, and I only want to export the enchanted books from the system, it is going to make it a little bit more complicated. But I think in this instance, complicated is good. Um, it's going to be fun to do complicated um, because once it's up and running, it'll be completely automated, and the only byproduct of the system will be uh, completed books, which enchanted books, which is rad. Um, we may even be able to, I don't know, we may even be able to, I'll have a way to turn the system completely on and off, so that'll be good. I'm thinking, I don't know if I want to even automate throwing away of like junk books, but I don't think I do. I think I just want to turn the damn thing on and off. We don't want to get too complicated. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and like I was saying, I'm going to finish up, get closer, man. I'm going to finish up getting the rest of the walls and the ceiling done. Uh, get a little bit set up as far as, oh, crap. That's how we're going to do the automation um, so I can show that off to you. And then I'll BRBs again. Okay, all done. Let's check it out. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section the down there. It's not too amazing, but it's not too simple either. I think it's just a good mix. I added some slip gator symbols here with some inverted lamps, uh, the inverted blue lamps behind them. And um, these are kind of tricky to do. If you don't build them on the center point on, on the slab, so you, if you don't build it like with slabs, like the top slab and the bottom slab, it either comes out a little bit blocky or a little bit too big. I built a bigger one, it just didn't look right. So I built some small slip gator symbols up inside of here. And um, yeah, like I said, I really like the way that it turned out. But without further ado, now what we wanna do is take a look at this ME system. So I wanna preface this by saying, Separating the enchanted and unenchanted items in this first ME system. All right, let me go ahead and stop for a second. I got to do a public service announcement. The next several minutes or a couple minutes of this video are technical. And so get ready. All right, there's your service announcement. So um, sorting the unenchanted and enchanted gear in this first stage of the ME system is something I haven't worked on yet. So we're going to do that later. And another part or another thing I want to do to preface this is say by, by saying I want to try to do this completely self-contained and only with ME. That's what I want to try to get done. I'm trying to see if this is a possibility, a thing that we can do. So, um, so instead of having to worry about sorting the enchanted and unenchanted gear in the first system, I skipped straight to the second system. So this is the second thing that we're going to be working on. So we have our auto disenchanter here, and it's hooked up to a, another completely separate ME system. So what we have going on is we got our ME system here. I just have a single 4K drive in here, and then you got a couple of uh, chests here. And this one's got a single enchanted book in it. We'll pull that out. I got a fuzzy export bus here, set here with a fire protection book, and it's set for match any. Then what I've got is a regular ME storage bus here with a priority set for just 128, really, really high. So um, now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'm going to stick these, wait, yeah. Where, is that, am I in the right thing? I'm going to go ahead and stick these in here. So I, I have the export bus. This is something we did last time set with the book. I got these enchanted leggings. They came with um, full durability and they've got protection and I'm breaking on them. And so what the system should be doing now um, is taking any of the enchanted books that come out of the disenchanter and squirting them into this chest. And then every single other item that comes into the system will automatically go into this chest. So let's go ahead and just see that this is working. It should pull off a single enchantment, squirt out a book, and then it's gonna go ahead and do a second one. So let's go ahead and see there it squirts off the book. It took a little bit of durability. Now it's gonna go for the unbreaking. And we should see that there's a single book in here now. There's our projectile protection for a book. Um, and so we have nothing in the other system. And um, it should take just another minute. And then what we're gonna see, um, hopefully, since I tested this and everything was working, and, and it all makes sense to me in my mind, it's not that complicated. Um, the enchanted leggings will go inside of here once it's done with the second stage here. So, oh, oh, baby. There you go, there you can see the enchanted leggings are in there, and then there's our second book right there. Um, and so the other thing this should do as well, let's go ahead and find a bow that has poison on it. Um, should be some enchanted, there we go, poison one, poison one. So let's go ahead and test this one too. So this is an already enchanted item. And it really shouldn't matter. If I squirt this in here, it should automatically eject and that bow should automatically go into here as you can see right there. So this system here from the disenchanter out is working perfectly. And then what, our, what my plan would be to do is then you take this off, we go like this. So then you would take your trash can and stick it on top of that. And then you would take your ender chest and stick it on top of there. 
Uh, and so then what this is going to do is then all the enchanted books will go directly into the ender chest back into the main emmy system and all the additional items that we don't have a use for will automatically get trashed on this side so we can stick these leggings in for projectile protection um, and again it's too bad this thing works so slow and we can't do anything to upgrade it it would be sweet if it was upgradable but it won't really matter once the system's running it won't like overflow or it won't back up i don't believe because um, the enchanted items will drop so slowly um so yeah, so that pretty much, like I said, from the disenchanter back means that the system is finished. Um, so now what will happen is this is gonna squirt the book and the leggings out into the system. The book, we're gonna be able to see it. So you're not even gonna be able to see it. Oh wait, there's the book. All right, so the book just left and it went out. And then if we look inside of here, there's nothing. Um, and so yeah, that works perfectly. Um, and so we gotta organize it up a little bit more. What I wanna end up doing is add um, several of the disenchanters all in a line um, because we only have the ability to fit. I think I could probably put another fuzzy export bus maybe on the bottom. I'm not sure if it will work, um, but we can get, I think at least a minimum of eight or a maximum of 16 items to go into each single th each single disenchanter um, so we're going to need a couple because we'll need them for gold items chain items leather items uh, iron items bows and the like different weapons and stuff and things like that so that that that's done and that just means we just need to get organization done on that part um, the now the new challenge is that before these items ever get to uh, the disenchanter, we need to separate enchanted from unenchanted. Um, or at the very least, we need to be able on this end to um, take... I don't know if these books are from... I don't think they just drop books. Where are these books from? Um, anyway, sorry, shiny thing. Uh, we have to be able to separate the books out um, or any items that are out. Uh, send certain things that we want back to the ME system like... Um, I'll take the arrows, I'll take the rotten flesh, gunpowder, bone, string, spider eyes, fire charges, all these individual item things. Uh, we want those to all go back into the ME system automatically, uh, back into the main ME system for the 1-8. Um, yeah, but separating out the enchanted and unenchanted items before they ever get to this stage is going to be a little bit tricky. I think that these are just in here from what I was doing testing before. Um, but yeah, it is going to be a little bit tricky in order to do that uh, because from what I'm seeing, um, the fuzzy, oh, maybe I could do it with the fuzzy export bus. I, I think it's seeing the difference between an enchanted and an unenchanted item. Like it will give me only enchanted items, but it doesn't seem to want to give me only unenchanted items. So I guess, you know, one of the things that we could do, could take a test here. This might actually work a lot, M might be a lot easier than I think. Oh, there's my mag in the sock working. So, are you done with your thing? Be done. I'll oh, get out of there. So if I just put a regular thing in there, oh, it just squirts it right in. And then it's just gonna trash it. So, the fuzzy export bus with the enchanted items actually would probably be a better idea just to use an export bus don't make it fuzzy. Squirt all of the enchanted and unenchanted items through the unenchanter, the disenchanter, pardon me. And then that way, they'll all just squirt into the system and they'll be an automatically thrown away. Sweet. So that was cool. We just had a major breakthrough, man. Holy crap. I feel like we just broke through something major. So yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. I had a really good time hanging out. It was a little bit more talky and a little bit more buildy. And I didn't get quite as much of the techie stuff done. <clears throat> techie stuff done as I wanted to. But that's all right. If you guys liked the video, please don't forget to show me your support and hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite it as you see fit. Don't spam it on Reddit. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.